When I was first approached for the show, I was so excited. You don't get the opportunity to be on TV when you're not an actress. And I thought, my God, I've got to do this. But how do I talk Wolf Pup into doing it with me? Yeah, it was really exciting. To describe Real Housewives of Melbourne in one word, I'd say exhilarating. Really, really takes you to another place. I'm especially looking forward to getting married. I'm including the wedding into the show, so it gives me the opportunity to do the one thing I love is working on the show and marry the man of my dreams. My most embarrassing moment was when I went to the races with the girls and my nip was flashing the whole time in front of the media wall. I was holding my skirt down. I was flashing everyone all over the place. I've got to say that was pretty much the most embarrassing moment I've ever had in my life. I couldn't wait to go back for season three. I actually really enjoy the girls' company and it's fun. It's sort of like a life outside of my lives that I would have never had and I get to hang with all these fabulously glamorous women and we get to go to all these amazing places and have amazing meals and we have a real friendship and uh, sisterhood and I miss them when they're not around. If I was to describe Chica, I would consider her a fashionista. If I was to describe Janet in one word, I'd describe her as a malicious gossip. <laughs> That's two words. How about just gossip? One word to describe Gina would be honourable. To describe Jackie, I'd call her holistic. To describe Lydia in one word is very difficult, but if I have a shot at it, I'd call her mischievous. Petty Fleur I'd describe as painful. <laughs> to describe Susie in one word, and I don't know very well, I'd have to say, the ladies of the CWA, we are the ladies. There's no, I could describe her in song, in operatic song. Yeah.